The future of air combat is no longer about close-range dogfights. It is about striking first from enormous distances, far beyond what the human eye can see. The fighter jet that fires first usually wins, and in 2026, China is developing a missile that aims to dominate that future. Its name is the PL-21. The PL-21 is China's next-generation, very long-range air-to-air missile, currently under development. Analysts believe it will redefine aerial warfare because of one key factor, range. The PL-21 is designed not just for beyond visual range engagements, but for engagements beyond what any missile today can reach. It represents China's long-term strategy to win air superiority from hundreds of kilometers away. Imagine a missile capable of shooting down an enemy aircraft before that aircraft can even detect the launch aircraft. Imagine a missile so fast and long-ranged that support aircraft, like refueling tankers and AWACS, suddenly become vulnerable from great distances. Those aircraft are the brain and lifeline of modern air forces. They allow fighter jets to see far, stay in the air longer, and coordinate attacks. If those aircraft are neutralized, the enemy becomes blind and helpless. That is the true purpose of the PL-21. China is developing the missile to target high-value and heavily protected assets. Instead of sending fighters into a dogfight, the PL-21 is designed to destroy support planes from vast ranges, weakening the enemy before the battle even begins. What makes the missile so capable is its engine technology. Unlike traditional missiles that use solid rocket motors and lose speed over distance, the PL-21 is believed to be powered by a ramjet or a long-burn dual-pulse motor. A ramjet allows the missile to sustain high speed continuously during flight, not just at launch. That means even at extreme ranges, the missile still has energy to maneuver and chase moving targets. Most BVR missiles slow down and become easier to evade near the end of their flight. The PL-21 is being designed to do the opposite. Maintain speed until impact. The missile's range remains classified, but defense analysts estimate it could reach 300 to 400 kilometers, possibly more. That number is astonishing when compared to traditional air-to-air -air missiles. The famous American AM-120 AIM-REM reaches roughly 160 kilometers in its best versions. The European Meteor reaches around 200 kilometers. The PL-21 is being developed to go significantly beyond that. The missile's guidance systems appear to include multiple modes. Mid-course guidance is handled through a data link. The firing aircraft, such as the J-20 stealth fighter, updates the missile with real-time information about the target S movements. Once near the target, the missile switches to active radar guidance, meaning it becomes its own radar system and no longer needs assistance. In this phase, the target's ability to avoid detection is extremely limited. However, that's not all. Analysts suggest that developers are testing additional terminal guidance modes to ensure the missile can ignore countermeasures, jamming, and evasive maneuvers. Enemy aircraft can try to jam the missile using ECM pods, break radar lock, or deploy decoys. But the PL-21 may use frequency agile radar that resists jamming and keeps tracking. The missile is not being built to chase fighter jets alone. It is being built to kill the aircraft that command the battlefield, tankers, AWACS, and electronic warfare aircraft. If those aircraft fall, fighter jets lose communication, intelligence support, and fuel. The battle collapses from the top down. China's development of the PL-21 is also part of a strategic shift. The country is not building weapons just to match the United States and NATO. It is developing weapons that make the existing Western systems obsolete. Long-range air denial is cheaper and more effective than sending hundreds of jets into combat. The PL-21 will likely be carried internally by the J-20 stealth fighter. When combined, the J-20's stealth characteristics and the PL-21's range create an extremely dangerous threat.
The J-20 does not need to enter a dogfight. It can get close enough to enemy formations undetected, fire the PL-21 from extreme range, and leave without ever being seen. For the United States, this missile is a problem. The U.S. relies heavily on AWACS and refueling tankers to support operations worldwide. Those aircraft allow American fighters to patrol long distances far from home bases. If they become vulnerable to long-range missiles, the entire battle doctrine must change. In fact, the existence of the PL-21 program has forced a reaction. The PL-21 is also part of China's anti-access, chuck area denial strategy. The idea is simple. Make certain airspace too dangerous for enemy aircraft to enter. If China can protect regions like the South China Sea and Taiwan by threatening enemy aircraft from a distance, it doesn't have to fight a war. The threat itself becomes a weapon. The PL-21 isn't fully deployed yet, but prototypes have reportedly been tested under the J-20 and the J-16 platforms. Engineers continue refining the missile's engine and guidance systems. Observers believe full production could begin in the near future, depending on successful testing and integration. If this missile performs as expected, it will redefine aerial engagement rules. It turns long-range air combat from a duel into an assassination. It makes modern air strategy less about speed and maneuverability and more about information and range. The idea behind the PL-21 is clear. Fight from far away, strike first, and ensure the enemy never has a chance to fire back. The missile represents the future. A future where the first aircraft to fire wins. A future where dogfights are replaced by silent kills at extreme distance. And a future where air superiority is achieved through technology, not risky close-range combat. The PL-21 isn't just a missile, it's a warning. Dirty term.